just wanted to make a video on uh, how, you know, the leading causes of death. I'm not going to go into all of them, but I really want to go into a couple of them specifically, and it would be cancer and heart attacks, uh, coronary disease, whatever you want to call it. And are the institutions, the American Heart Association, the American Cancer Study, are they just shells? Or do they actually do anything that benefits people? Uh, having two heart attacks and two cancers myself, and watching and reading the labels, etc., then looking and researching what other people have come up with, um, if your experience. I think they're nothing more than a shell. This has not changed typically in a long time. So if I can do this right, I will ask you just to read. Heart disease, 633,842 cancer, 595,930 chronic lower respiratory diseases, 155,041 accidents, unintentional injuries 146,571 stroke, cerebrovascular diseases 140,323 Alzheimer's disease, 110,561 diabetes, 79,535 influenza and pneumonia, 57,062 nephropathies, nephrotic syndrome, and nephroses, 49,959 intentional self-harm, suicide 44,193. Source. We go a lot from, uh, uh, with the American Heart Association, as you can see, if their whole mission is to prevent heart attacks and coronary artery disease, then somebody's failing miserably. If you fail at your job like they're failing at their job, I don't think anybody's going to hand you money to continue to fail. I quit going to cardiac rehab after it came out to coconut oil was bad. Now, if you go to Snopes, of course, they're going to defend the American Heart Association because they're, again, they are owned by the powers that be. Snopes is not there for you. It's there for them, and you and me are not part of them. So when you go to the American Heart Association's website, I mean, you know, it'll just look great and fun, and like there's tons and tons of information. Here's a name that should ring out, Jimmy Kimmel. But before I get off track too far, let's go back to these 10 reasons leading causes according to the CDC and that was uh, they've been doing that since 2010 at least diseases of the heart they have us believing that all this is genetic and some of it may be a little but it can't be to the extent that they say it is it has to be something environmental like food so what's environmental like food? Diseases of the heart. Well, it's not really your heart to get sick. It's your arteries. So they're getting food. Cancer. Same way. Cancer is when a cell goes into a over-reproductive state. Chronic respiratory, that's different. It could be, but more likely not. Cerebral food. Alzheimer's, food, think in terms of aluminum and fluoride among, that's two, two among many things. Diabetes, with the exception of diabetes one, most of the diabetes is overweight and again, food, too much sugar. Kidney disease, all this can be a byproduct of diabetes or the drugs for chronic respiratory or cardiac. A lot of the medicines for these diseases affect your kidneys. Influence and pneumonia, nah. self-harm, suicide, of course that has, that, that actually can have something to do with diet because of the vitamin D and then there's, you can eat, I think it's six 
cashews have the effect of one Prozac without any of the side effects. So, I mean, diabetes, you know, self-harm suicide, that comes into question. But so, but this is not an accurate thing, but I just, what I'm stressing here is food, your nutrition. And, you know, you get into really, if you want to look at the number one cause of death, and not that I want to get into that issue, but it is, it is abortion. And you get down here and you go, wow, man, they really cut back. No, if you read on down, 2014 marks the last year we have accurately compiled data. And that's the reason, the only reason that they're low. Uh, and it's funny, if you ever want to see the Roe versus Wade, you, it's real eye-opener if you study the real thing about the uh, lady that was the one that was in that Roe versus Wade. She could never have kids. She couldn't even get pregnant. Uh, it wasn't for that. It was for one, it's a part of the New World Order's agenda is to drop population levels at the same time. Uh, most people don't believe it, but they do use the stem cells out of aborted fetuses for food flavorings. Since it's going to focus mostly on nutrition, I would have to say abortions are the number one leading cause of death in the world by far exceeding wars and everything else so that aside medical errors uh, are the third leading cause of death and that is not just again Merkel that's quite a few places that say that you know medical errors are the third leading cause of death. And, you know, I, I suggest you go to his site and look it up. I've never done anything to be misleading on the uh, Mercola site. It's all pretty much he's just right out in the wide open with it. Um, Drug overdoses, he has as a ninth leading cause of death. And this article was written April of 2017. So, you know, the overdoses, sometimes it's people on narcotics. Sometimes it's just people that, uh, or the doctors give them drugs that don't go together and cause it. And again, I'm just not just, you know, I'm not just cherry picking this out. This is reproduced by a lot of reputable sites. Uh, Mercola just being one of them. But it's all going down to food and the politics of food. He pretty well, Mercola pretty well sums it up. Most of the leading causes of deaths are preventable. Uh, most of the chronic diseases, including cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and obesity, are largely preventable with the simple lifestyle changes. Even infectious diseases like flu can often be warded off by a healthy way of life. Imagine a lower death toll, not to mention cost to the economy. If more people decide to take control of their health, heart disease, and cancer alone accounted for 47% of the deaths in the United States in 2010. And there are many strategies you can implement to lower your risk of these diseases. And most of the leading cause of death in the United States. The add bonus to this is that the healthier you are, the less you will need to rely on conventional Medicare, which is the leading cause of death. So what does a healthy style entail? And so, you know, he goes into, the first thing he comes up with is proper food choices. And that's basically what I'm wanting to do in this, uh, is the proper food choices, is nutrition. Uh, of course, exercise 
And we can all walk if nothing else. Mo well, not all. Most. Can't walk, flap your arms. Reduce stress and positive thinking. For I retired out of UPS. And I remember one of their main things were to tell us all how we needed stress to function properly. That's a load of BS. Uh, positive thinking. It's You don't need to be just stupid with it with your head in the clouds. But you got to look at, you know, possible. JFK once said, some people see things as they are and that's why. I see things as they could be and that's why not. Um, or something to that effect. And right here is a big thing. Proper exposure to vitamin D. If you're not getting enough vitamin D, then get some D3 supplements. My wife, who is a cardiac nurse, takes a lot of, she takes like 1,500 IUDs of D3 every day. And she seldom, if ever, gets sick, even being around sick people. Uh, this krill oil, I went to taking it because my triglycerides were high. I don't care. I don't pay much attention to regular cholesterol, but triglycerides go high. That's a precursor for a heart attack. And since I've had two already, then that might be just, you know, if all it takes is a, a good, not just any, but a good krill oil, then to avoid doing that again, so be it. Toxic house soap cleaners, soaps, personal hygiene products, air fresheners, bug sprays, lawn pesticides, exercise, name a few. Those air fresheners, these Glade air fresheners and stuff like that. My wife used to use them like crazy. We don't allow them in the house now. You want your house to smell different? Get you some essential oils and a diffuser. Something that's healthy, something that will help you. Not just something that will mask the symptoms. So, you know, here we're going down through the, the leading thing. I want you to pay close attention to fluoride. Most people, including this one lady that I know that is over to do with the school board. Now you'd think with the school board she would be up on things. Study, learn. She thought that fluoride in the water helped with the with the decay. It does not. Topically, it helps. Ingested, it makes it worse. So you can see right here, you know, the 20 most common mentioned things: health hazards and fluoride exposure. Um, enough said. I don't want to get into this a whole lot, but lately on the news, I've heard that uh, breast cancer has made a comeback, you know, maybe like 10 years later it comes back on them again. But just looking at the headings of some of his articles, I want you to know that if you have a lot of mammograms, that could lead to breast cancer. Alcohol, and you see so many beer commercials and so many things talking about how beer saved the city or how beer saved the economy or how beer let places grow and how good it is. It's not. It is not good for you, period. Uh, sugar. But like I say, I don't want to really focus on that. To all this... Uh, you know, I don't want to lose the main focus, uh, which is easily done, because there's so many avenues you could go down. But in the midst of it is to know your farmer and to know your food. If you do that, you're going to get rid of a lot of those. There's just so much greed that goes on, and so much sub uh, diversion, subversion, uh, and our country and our, you know the government and the institutions that were once started out of good thoughts and good measures have now fallen uh, here's this guy that writes or lady one writes for the American Society for Nutrition ASN 
about the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And uh, they write that, you know, just an excerpt, but the majority, seven out of 12 major, list major corporation affiliations. The list of food companies for which they consult or advise is too long to reproduce, but it includes Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Pepsi-Co, the Sugar Association, the National Restaurant Association, Conagra, McDonald's, Kellogg, Mars, and many others. And so, you know, it, they, he comes apart and says, you know, so that brings me right back to the American Heart Association. And, you know, they're junk science. And it's not just that I'm saying it or somebody else is saying it. I have no medical training whatsoever, none. What I do have is experience of being a patient. Two heart attacks, two cancers. You know, at some point, you've got to think, what has gone wrong? What do I need to look at? Because when you see, when you do like cardiac rehab, and you notice that everybody in there sometimes repeats it like I did. And they've done the guidelines. They've done all the things. they jumped through the hoops. Uh, and, you know, you get to read, and meanwhile, there's no way in hell that all this is genetic. The math figures do not work out. That's ludicrous. And hopefully you're not stupid enough to believe them. And there's no other way to put it other than stupid. I mean, look at some of the evidence. Like a recent Cambridge study analysis of 76 studies involved more than 650,000 people. And they concluded there's no, the current evidence does not clearly support the guidelines that recommend low consumption of total saturated fats. Now you do have the, uh, anytime you, you, know, you got saturated and then you've got other fats, but saturated are fats that you can absorb. But you get into cooking with vegetable oils and canola oil that creates fats that your body don't know what to do. Uh, but their guidelines make no sense. And I mean, you get over here and see right here that, you know, they, they make money with these labels. One of the first thing that I did was uh, when I first got out, or I first heart attack, we went to the grocery store. Well, I'd had each side. They went up in my groin. One when I had my heart attack, and one to uh, because I had an occlusion, more occlusion in there. But the first thing was to get the first occlusion unblocked. So three days later, they went up with the second one. I think it's three days, maybe an hour that. And um, so I was walking like stiff. Me and my wife stop at the grocery store. I walk over and we're in the meat section. And I see ham and then I see American Heart Healthy Ham. And I see the same thing with bologna. As a matter of fact, most meats, you know, you had regular and then you had low fat endorsed by that American, you know, they had a little stamp on it. So I flipped the packets over in the red. And the sodium on the heart healthy one was three to five times higher than the regular was. And God knows what the nitrite nitrites were. I went to my wife and I said, this does not make sense. This is stupid. And there's no way this don't pan out. So then I get thinking somebody's pooping under the covers. It might be time to look. And so as you see, they make a killing off of this crap. I'd like to go into this deeper, but you know, we're just scratching the surface. 
So you can look up the rest for yourself. I wish I had a few years ago. Uh, and don't say you don't have time. Everybody's got 24 hours in the same day. If you got time to get on Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, watch a TV show, go to the movies, go out and eat, then you have time. Because everybody has the same amount of lot of time. It's just, do you take time? And this benefits nobody but you or a loved one if the loved one listens to you, which a lot of times they won't, but sometimes they will. But this, I would love to go into the American Cancer Society while all on them, but this video has already gone longer than I intended. But I want to just go over a little bit more of this American Heart Association. Like the FDA and the USDA, they're bought and paid for, and it's not by the people. Uh, you can see up here, uh, Truth Wiki, AHA recommends children eat a lot of junk food and GMO processed pesticide-laden oils for heart healthy. Does that even sound normal? At some point. We gotta quit being stupid. The AHA is a nonprofit, but still rakes in 800 million a year from dairy, canola, and big pharma industries. And uh, the dairy, if you're doing raw dairy, then you know that's okay. If you're doing whole milk, that's better than two percent or the extra refined milk. Uh, what do they call it? ultra pasteurized those milk that milk you might as well just go out and basically be drinking water but you can see right here you know these are the funding companies the large ones uh, and I would like to say something about the National Beef Association when we sell our cattle at the stop barn they automatically take out. We've never authorized them to take out. It is not voluntary. It is compulsory. And as you see, they undermine the value of coconut oil. Then again, we raise our pasture. Ours are all grass fed. They're raised on grass. Uh, they're not uh, finished, as they call it, with uh, grains. Perhaps one day, if we ever do decide to grow, you know, grains and grow non-genetically modified corn, we may give them a little bit. But for now, just grass. Um, but uh, they push a low-fat diet. Your body has to have fat, folks. It just has to be the right fat. Uh, and coconut oil, they went at coconut oil like it was some kind of demon. When in fact, it's good. And there is no link between that and cardiovascular disease. Period. None. Just so happens, oddly enough, a couple of them people are on the same board and are over uh, the production of vegetable oil and canola oil. Think it might be a conflict of interest. Sounds like it to me. And also coconut oil helps with uh, Alzheimer's. So, you know, you, you can look at any of these and we're going to look at a few more. Right there, it's what it costs you to advertise one to nine products with this little heart healthy label sticker, which is basically, for lack of a better word, bullshit. Merck, not a good company. $400,000 to finance programs to teach, get this folks, teaching doctors to treat according to cholesterol guidelines. The guidelines are screwed up. And why is Merck Tree teaching doctors? They're a pill company. You think they're going to try to fix it to where they don't sell pills? I would be stupid to be like a gasoline company promoting electric cars. Unless, of course, they're into the coal industry or solar industry, like some of the oil companies are. 
uh, they were paid four hundred fifty thousand dollars by the Florida grapefruit, and a lot of grapefruits are genetically modified now. I don't know if you knew that or not, but four hundred fifty thousand dollars just to say eat your grapefruits. One point one million from food manufacturers with that heart healthy check mark. Uh, $2,500 yearly renewal charge. You get down through here. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, folks. It's just pretty sad. Uh, some of this stuff I won't try to leave links to. I won't leave links to all of it. Some of it you're actually going to have to look up. Uh, and you know, another thing is nonprofit. That sounds good, but all you got to do is if you start breaking in more bucks than what you made, you just simply buy more stuff like the American Heart Society or American Cancer Society. They're one of the largest owners of uh, land and stuff there is, and you just pay your people more. So, isn't that cool? You know, you just give yourself a raise. Then you become... Uh, non-profit again but they like actually this just scratches the surface I didn't want to go before I leave to this uh, maybe with this food babe cheap uh, it's pretty smart it's pretty sharp um, she brings out some really really good and like me she freaked out when they said Coconut oil is bad. I mean, it's coconut oil is not bad. Um, trans fat or partially hydrogenated oils are responsible for upward, upward of 10,000 heart attacks a year. And this time, I mean, she gives some examples. Like these that have heart healthy chick marks, but they're full of bad stuff, especially this. I didn't know this. Monosodium glucamate. It has MSG. Star kissed. We won't be buying your shit no more. I don't eat cereal, but there again, she gives, you know, the, all these cereals are huge. And I knew boar's head meats. I had done red on them. I knew they were very, very, very bad stuff. They have a lot of nitrates for nit. I think it's nitrates. It's ridiculous what all is in boar's head. You're getting more than just meat there. A lot of sugar. Uh, but it's got the heart healthy check on it. And, you know, it's just... It's not good at all. And um, the, they've been friends with Kellogg's PepsiCo. PepsiCo also makes uh, uh, Frito-Lay and, you know, different chips. General Mills, Nestle, uh, Mars, Domino's Pizza, Kraft, Subway, Quaker. <coughs> Three million dollars from Pfizer. And wouldn't you know it? Why not? They own Libertor. I tried all what I call the ore drugs. My body rejected each one of them. Just like it did in 2005. Uh, we tried it after the heart attack in 2016 again. It just, I couldn't do them. Uh, you see the people here. I mean, it's the devil. They got marks. And like I say, most of these people that's on that board, and I've not looked it up to prove it to you yet, I'll let you do that. Most of them have ties to what they're telling you to go to. So they have a conflict of interest. Big time. Uh, it's swapping out coconut oil with corn oil, they say may reduce the risk to heart attack. No. 
one of them has a big tie into the cornhole. So, I hope you have a better sense than I did and looked this up before. And if not, well, you got nobody to blame but yourself. It's like I have nobody to blame but myself. So, hope this has helped some. I'll eventually come back and slam the American Cancer Society, which is also a joke. I don't give one penny to the American Heart or the American Cancer, because I can tell you when I took chemo and radiation, not anybody in there was receiving one bit of help from anybody. Did see Livestrong do some things. Perhaps that's why they went and attacked them. But as far as these big corporations, when you give them money, you might as well just throw it out the window. And I'll also make one eventually on genetically modified foods. Because that does change your DNA structure. It changes you on a molecular level. That's been proven. Not in the United States, because here we let people like Monsanto they help they own they start a company. They own the company, but it's not it's like a subsidiary of theirs. <laughs> so they get to test their own stuff. You know, what kind of Mickey Mouse horse shit is that? And that goes on continuously. So while we sit and watch your T V and we stay amused and to be amused means to not think. Because amused is to think. Amused is not thinking. So while we're amused, they're in muse. They don't need to come in like some of these sites, like Alex Jones said, and come in with weapons and just do a hostile takeover. No. All they got to do is say, this is good for you, or we like you, and we're on your side, and we'll poison ourselves. So, that's the end of all of this.